Alright guys, I got a new vid here. I uh, got that 4.8 heck room in the jangles. Um, runes and masteries coming up. Uh, I think the runes, yeah, same like like the, the god there, Nunu, you know, move speed, quince, attack speed, CDR of course, because um, I am going to go madstone. Yeah, I forgot this is madstone. Heck room. Um, and then the masteries we got coming up is 21.6.3. You know, you get in it uh, with heck room, so I put 6 in uh, defense. Alright, baby, we back once a motherfucking again. I got that Hecarim 4.8 My Way in the Jungle, Mad Stone in it up uh, with the horsey, and the horse is OP. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, run and see what I'm about to do. Looks like I'm going to head over towards that red buff and end up on the bot side because I'd rather have blue buff for a longer period of time, but, you know, it doesn't really matter with Hecarim. Actually, no. I do like uh, starting over here because I'm running movement speed quints, and I got, a, I don't know how many points I put in utility. I'm pretty sure I put, um, I got the move speed from what do you call it? I probably yeah I'm probably running runic affinity. Uh, I can actually check with my smite uh, 40. So no I'm actually uh, uh, running 21.6.3. So I'll put that uh, on the runes of master just like Hack from in Pantheon and Tiger Sand too there. I uh, usually don't get runic affinity with those junglers because not needed. Um, so I'm coming around the side hitting the gank arenas. We got the uh, raccoon dog. I'm just off to the side right now. Top lane has already died. So when I see top lane die, guys, you know what I t tell myself? I'm leaving your ass on island. So there's some easy flash. Raccoon dog shows up. Gonna have to run back, put a little some damage on uh, what do you call it? It's gonna be late. I'm not gonna go back and get my mad stone uh, right off the bat. I'll probably end up buying the madrids first and not the spirit stone because I'm just gonna you know end up farming and farming and just going back out and it's just gonna be a little while. Uh, you know, with top lane already failing, it's like I already got enough time. It's you know, it, it, it's definitely rough when when Jax wins early. Uh, looks like mid lane had to go back. You see uh, Soraka now. Uh, big mistake here, guys. Remember, now if we take a look at this, uh, right here. Now bot lane, our Lulu just died, right? Okay. Now if you're if you're these two, you see Trindamir right here, and then if you're uh, looking for LeBron there's no way LeBron's gonna show up mid so the mistake here you know when I tell you guys if you wanna learn how to win fucking games is after you push this wave right here with the siege minion so you're taking this with what do you call it UW double kill like, they picked up a double kill bot lane so right here the big mistake was not sitting here and hitting his damage or hitting his turret uh, for as much damage as you can put onto it they don't do it instead look at him look at me uh, look at him so right there, if we take it at, at 4:30, they could have been hitting the turret. So that's so far. I see. I see 10 seconds of hitting this turret. Okay, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. They could have. Well, I, w I wouldn't say blow that next wave up, but if unless ra raccoon dog. So that's 20 seconds. They could have pretty much shit all over this turret right here, and they didn't do it. So right there, definitely a, a very big mistake, guys. You know, when it comes to driving it down mid, you just drive it down mid. Um, Let's take a look at what happens next. I come over here and farm. I pick up my Madrid. It's going to be a rough, uh, what do you call it, uh, game. My top lane struggling. Well, he's actually not struggling 30 to 30, but still. You know, when you get Jack started, the dude becomes a monster and just shits all over you. You'll see that later on uh, when I go say hi to him. Um, so we're just going to farm it up, like I said. Try to get my 700 gold. Go back, get my spirit stone. So uh, I won't struggle that much in a jungle when I don't have blue buff. I'll get a little bit of return back. Boom, perfect time for my rep buff to be up. Raccoon Dog finishes off my, my Lebron. So that kind of sucks. So let me actually take the vision off from the enemy team right now. So um, like I said, you know, it's going to be hard to, to push against Morgana, especially, uh, you know, when she gets more uh, points in Tormented Soil. Uh, my blues up, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. Now you're probably telling yourself, man, why would you go double jungle items on Hecarim? I don't know. Somebody wanted me to try it. I said I would try it, so I'm trying it. And I, you know, at first I said it was fucking bad. Why is it bad? Because every lane already lost. I can't gank. I can't do anything right now. So all I can do is farm and pretty much play the later on game. Meaning, you know, I become the game. I, I, I try to, you know, pick somebody off or, or you know, if some, if the enemy makes a mistake and capitalize by, you know, picking my dragons and turrets. So I come in with the motherfucking ulti. Come in here, there's uh, the exhaust getting dropped onto Caitlyn. I run right up, slap, double auto attack, run right up, drop it, head or body slam that bitch into the wall, uh, back up, and I say dip set later, Lebron. I got places to go. I don't plan on dying today, and there's the Hadouken from uh, Karma, so I'm going to try to farm some of this up. Now, I, I, I was like, I need to be a little bit careful here. I don't want to run into Raccoon Dog, knowing that I, was, I just, you know, dive. So I run all the way over here, so I don't get jumped on if he hits his R. 
Uh, plus, I would know if he came with that exclamation mark uh, pulling up on my screen. That OJ. Mm. Come over there. I looks like I counter jungle by the, by the raccoon dog. Come over here. Pick up my my wolf can. All right, now we got to fight. Now uh, it's looking fucking bad here. I was like, okay, now I got a suicide. Uh, if I look at my team, LeBron and Lulu are back. I can't do anything. Uh, so I come in here, drop the ulti, the shackles get dropped, and I just start spinning shit, slapping bitches left and right, body slam, uh, what do you call it, boom. Uh, next thing you know, I, you know, Raccoon, I don't even know why he was off to the side, like, he was running away, like, okay, when you have your whole team here, four people, four versus two, and you're scared to get shackled up and locked down, instead, instead of just sitting in the ulti and just hitting me one time, or sitting in the bush, or just walking to this bush and killing me, you decide to run off. So I guess everybody scattered and they made a mistake. And for some reason, they let me slip through the uh, uh, jungle. I come around the side, drop a ward, and I say, later, bitches. And boom. So bitches are mad. I died to the turret. Morgana goes back mid. She's going to drop that oil on the ground. Boom. Victory. So none of us died. They didn't uh, uh, get that dragon. So I was like, woof. Um, now if I look at my items, I'm 2 and one right now. I, I decided to go back, uh, get my, well, I died, and I buy no mantle. I don't know if I had my uh, Rebox, but I bought my Rebox tier 1s. Um, and there's so much pressure top lane. So much pressure. I don't know what to do. You know, Jax needs to do something. Now, the thing about, you know, you know, it's like when Renekton, um, you know, dominates his lane, then what does he do? I mean, what, should he go mid and, and maybe try to dive mid? Or, you know, it's kind of hard. You don't think you want to gank Morgana with, with the bind, the... the uh, the oh, the soul shackles, you know, it could be a, a mistake uh, jumping on her like that. And if you end up dying, you give Trindamir that free time to farm it up. So pretty much you just got to stay top if you're Jax. And Jax, you know, 113 to 78 has, you know, got a nice fat lead. Jax probably should have tried to pick up this uh, this dragon with his team. He, I don't think he does it. Uh, so right now, you know, he's he's just by himself top. He needs to just work on getting his Triforce, but he's going to have no control of the map when he's top lane. And with me in this game right now, you know, I'm trying to figure a way to carry my top lane. I'm saying, okay, we got to drag this game out a little bit. You know, Trinity Mirror is struggling right now. Karma's bitch ass is in my jungle. Um, comes in, drops one of those Hadokens. I drop the smite. We pick that up. Looks like it's just Karma. I drop the ulti, smack her one time. Walk ahead of her as I'm hitting her, so I hit her. And start right clicking ahead, so I sit on top of her. I had the rev up fly. I should have, should have got off, but uh, she dies anyway. I just walk right in there, and boom, uh, hit that W, and we take that out. It looks like we're gonna try to pick up this. Uh, what do you call it? So right here, raccoon dog's kind of low. There's the body slam. Get the rev up applied onto uh, Caitlyn, and there's Soraka gonna go ahead and flash. And I'm like, yo, what are you guys doing? Let's go pick this uh, uh dragon up. So right here, if we pick this up, this is a fucking bonus right here. Because uh, like I said, you know, when top loses that hard, it could be, it could determine the game. But unless you know the game, uh, you can you can turn it around. So with Madstone, as you can see, I can sit in the jungle and farm it up. Go ahead and smack this a couple times. <coughs> so yeah, no problem sustaining. Went from pretty much no HP to almost full. Plus my W give me HP back, now I'm full. Now, okay, now if I take a look, you know, I'm not definitely not going to go top. If we take a look at my gold count... Uh, I have 1100. I'd probably sell the pot and then buy a giant spelt and a chain vest because uh, I don't want to finish mercs right now. I need a little bit of armor. Of course, I need a little bit of MR, you know, for Soraka later on. Later on, they did, they did nerf this bitch, right? Yeah, and and that person decided to play that champion. So uh, 4.4.8 Soraka still OP, I guess. Um, or maybe the uh, guy didn't read the patch notes. All right, so I'm just chilling, seeing if uh, Caitlyn and Sorak, or not Sorak, Karma want to overextend. Come over here and pick up my stack. And this is when I think, uh, yeah, I gank top, and you'll see the damage coming out from this cock sucking uh, Jax. I don't know if this is warded or not, but I'm just gonna go ahead and back off. I'm gonna grab my orange shoes. Now, when he started hitting me, I'm like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do here? I was like, ah, oh, I was like, fuck, helicopter, ah, oh. and so I was like, fuck it, drop the ulti, body slam that bitch into the wall. I'm like, fuck. Hit W again. So when I go on here, I, there's a risk of me dying. Now I was kind of fearful that I actually might die, and then Jax would survive this. So he jumps on me. I'm like, oh. Then a fucking heal came. I was like, oh fuck, man. If we don't kill this guy, what a fucking waste. But he had Undying Rage, picks the kill up. Soraka shows up. So that was worth. Even though I died, uh, I think we picked up some bonus gold. We split that. So definitely worth. And Trinimir that was losing his lane, 161 to 
117, gets time to catch back up. Because Jax is dead for 23 seconds, so I expect him to push this next wave. Soraka coming around the side, gonna meet up. No, I'm not gonna fight this because he just used Undying Rage, and he's just gonna dip set. He should have just stayed in lane and pushed that out to force him to go cover top. But, um, all good. Um, you know, I come back out. Let's see, I got my Sunfire Cape out of that, and I got my Flare completed. Flare, uh, right now, it's at five stacks. So if we get into team fights, I'm gonna get some extra stacks. Come over here and smack these, uh, or smack that white camp. Look around, and I, you know, one thing is when I'm when we're losing or we don't have that much pressure, but you see the uh, the gold lead right now is pretty much tied up. Is you know I want to keep picking up these dragons. You know, I want the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, because if you're behind, that'll you know keep you in the game. Uh, dragons being pinged right now. Let's go ahead and uh, ride right over there. So I got the burn. I got the W burn. I got the the, the sunfire cave burn. Uh, I don't know if I slide in here. My hecarim's not that good. I don't play him all the time, but as you can see. Uh, we're coming in hot as fuck. Boom. We're going to body slam Soraka. Uh, you see Raccoon Dog off to the side. Lulu, for some reason, loves sitting on top of Raccoon Dog. And there's the shackles. He's going to drop the disrespect and pay the price with his life. And I'm one fat motherfucking horse right now. We're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give that to you. So I gave that to, uh, what do you call it? And there's the Quadra. Oh, no, no. I said fuck that. Um, Jax top getting chased by Lebron and Trindamir. Uh, so we just go ahead and pick up the dragon instead of chasing Lulu. And... You know, I look around to see if there's any jungle to take. There is no jungle, so come over here. And leave one of those, because I'm a nice guy. Take that pink ward out. Drop that disrespect. Walk right out of there. Uh, and just go back to farming. 15 stacks right now. Going to be, be doing a little extra damage. Decided to buy Glaze instead of any MR right now, so I can have that CDR. And a little bit of extra mana. And I'm just sitting off to the side to see if uh, Jax wants to overextend. He sees me, so I back up. Uh, so yeah, look, it was looking rough pretty early. Now it looks like we got this game under control right now. Um, you know, Rack I mean, Soraka right now got Sidestone. What the fuck? So we got a fight going on. I'm going to come in, horsing it up. Boom, body slam, Jack. Shackles are dropped onto him. Uh, they're trying to kill Morgana. She walks right back up. So I'm just sitting on bitches right now. Slapping, hitting Q. Boom, Jax almost goes down, but Trindamir chases and picks up the kill. The bind gets dropped. I'm going to go right in here, slap, and then run back. You see how I dropped one Q? A lot of times when I watch you guys play, you guys go in too deep. Like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone in there. You know, if I died, then I would have said that. But I went in there, hit her one time, and got the fuck out. And then they started walking forward to come for me. So they're focusing me. Nope, they decide to back, and boom. I walk out of there. Lebron, meanwhile, picks up another kill. Lebron slides in, peers in light. Let's see, doesn't get the double auto attack. Kabola virus coming off from Raccoon Dog. Uh, and I just go back to jungling. You know, when I'm this low, when you have Mad Stone and you have the flare completed, you never have to back. So get those extra camps in uh, before you go back. Because if you look at the map right now, we have pressure being put in, in mid. And the bot lane's being pressured right now. So I can actually probably go top after this and push top to force somebody to go top. So, you know, mid lane is being pushed. Like I said, bot lane's being pushed right now. So that means it's going to put people... Uh, on the enemy team in those lanes so you have vision of them so you, you know now I can go back and then and we can see what we need to do group up uh, you know plan our next attack uh, to end this motherfucker so boom well uh, level 14 right now I'm higher level than Sona boom two above uh, Kate three above their support same level as no, one level above uh, top and, and the enemy jungle and right now 24 stacks on uh, the horsey right now. I'm gonna get some free experience. I see Jax. I don't want nothing to do with this guy. This guy is a monster. You know, you don't mess with Jax when he has a Triforce and a Belane unless you got the squad with you. Uh, so we take a look off to the side. Boom, coming in. Somebody just flew in. Looks like it's Raccoon Dog by himself. See, right here, guys, remember when, I, when, when team fights always happen, you gotta remember, man. If you're, if you're a full AD Raccoon Dog like he is, the Ryan Choi, uh, you know, that's something I'm not good. I'm not a good uh, Raccoon Dog, so I wouldn't know how to uh, play that, but he hits his ulti right now. So right here, he's invis. We can't see him. So if he decides to fly in here, there's the bind onto Karma. Now he jumps in. Now you got to look at his team. Now when you got to remember, Morgana's going to come into the fight, right? And what are you going to do? Your team going to walk right past Morgana to try to fucking follow up? No. So if you don't kill Lebron in one shot, then you're fucked. So we look. Boom. I come in with the Morgana old Chocos being dropped. Uh, I don't know. Okay, Morgana actually doesn't walk forward. Should have just kept walking forward to get these two locked down, but all good. Uh, looks like Lebron lives. Jack shows up. We have to get the fuck out. Meanwhile, while this is happening, we picked up two kills, and none of us died. And our boy Trinimir is pushing bot. So, and there's nothing for them to get after two people died. I mean, they didn't even win the fight. So, regardless if they would have uh, won the fight, as long as we kept these lanes pushed, or, and with Trinimir bot, it, it stops him from, you know, taking objectives. And, of course, Baron buff. 
Um, so, boom, we get a tower out of that, plus two kills. And I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? But I didn't realize, you know, they got Baldi, so I see Jax. Come over here, what's up, Jax? You dead? Body slam him. So I think Morgana landed a bind onto Jax, and I thought, okay, we can go on that. Um, okay. I guess that's GG. Oops. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, that was my hack run my way. Uh, Mad Stone. Uh, they realize it ended so quick. Um, I guess they are pretty much getting given up. But the horse, you know, like I said, sometimes you gotta leave people on an island uh, when people lose early. And bot lane did lose early too. But of course, Hecarim, you know, at any given time, if the enemy is overextended, you can go down there and hit R, slam bitches into the wall with your 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 E. Um, but yeah, definitely when you have red buff, if you're gonna try to make and help uh, your, your your lanes that are losing, do so. But if not, um, always try to protect mid and. Uh, protect your jungle when, when, when lanes lose. Cause if you lose control of your jungle, it, it's over. I, you know, one thing is I was on my buffs when they spawn, uh, with with bot and top lose and, and Morgana keeping mid alive will always keep you in the game. Five oh eight and plus I gave her that quadra. Well, I, well I gave her a few. No no, a couple of those kills where I could have just taken them, but I didn't really need them. One thing is Morgana if she did, if she gets her Zanyas and Deathcap definitely can change the game. So um, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like video. Peace light.